Where do the stars of Sega Sonic 3 go when the game's over? Sonic? Are you guys in there? Hey, here's a hint. They're at McDonald's in the $1.99 Sonic 3 Hamburger Happy Meal. Sonic launches with a push of a button. Tails flies who knows how high. And Robotnik barely dodges disaster. There's even this sweepstakes thing where 10,000 lucky folks will win free Sonic 3 cartridges. So if you're still looking for Sonic and his friends... I need to report a missing hedgehog. All right. Hey, guys, and welcome back. As this week, I wanted to take a look at some of the fastest Happy Meal toys around, Sonic 3 toys from McDonald's. In 1994, with video games being all the rage, and the console wars between Nintendo and Sega were still in effect for who would win control of your living room, each company had to make sure you saw their game before the competition. While newspapers and magazine ads help, there was one surefire way to advertise your new game, and that's through your stomach. And companies like McDonald's were sure to fit the bill. What could be better than fast food at a fast price of only $1.99? Why, if that food came with video game-related toys, of course, and with the success of Sega's monster hit Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic 2 taking a bite out of Nintendo's profits, what better way to advertise the new upcoming hit Sonic 3 than with a McDonald's Happy Meal? From February 4th, 1994 to March 30th, 1994, each time you bought a Happy Meal, you got your choice of one of four Sonic the Hedgehog characters, either Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, or Dr. Robotnik. There was also a yellow Sonic the Hedgehog ball that could be substituted. They came in a Happy Meal bag that had games, levels, and references from the actual Sonic 3 game, and best of all, an entry form on the back where you could enter to win one of 10,000 copies of your very own Sonic 3. With prizes like that, Sega and McDonald's came up with one of the fastest moving Happy Meal promotions of all time. Gotta go fast! Alright guys, now let's take a look at some of the McDonald's Sonic 3 Happy Meal toys that I have in my collection. Now, I only have three out of the uh, five Happy Meal toys. I do not have the Tails little uh, hole flyer toy, and I don't have the Sonic the Hedgehog yellow ball. Uh, the ones that I do have here is I have uh, Knuckles, and he's in like this little cloud spinning around, which is pretty neat. And then we got uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. And then we got uh, Dr. Robotnik, you know, Eggman, whatever your choice of name for him is. So let's take a look at each one of those one by one and uh, we'll see what they do. So let's start off here. Let's take a look at Knuckles. And uh, he's, he's pretty cool. I really like the, uh, the sculpt on him here. And he's got this little dust cloud. So you can imagine like he's zipping along and uh, you can really see the spikes on his knuckles. The red is really good, the eye's good, the nose is good. Everything about this toy really looks good. Um, and yeah, for a little McDonald's toy, I mean, I think this is done pretty well. And uh, so let's check him out. He has the wheels on the bottom here. And what he does is you move him along. Now he doesn't work so great, but uh, he like spins around. I'll show you like this, like he'll, he'll spin around like that, but for some reason when I put him on a flat surface, he doesn't want to do this very well, but like he'll spin around fine if I just like spin like the wheels around, but I think the gears are just like really messed up inside, like after, you know, 25, 30 years, he just does not work the way that he's supposed to anymore. Those gears are really, really messed up. Let's give him a spin, let's see if it'll work for us. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go, he's going a little bit. And like I said, yeah, you can hear those wheels really squeaking. He's just really, really messed up. So you kind of get a little bit of an idea of what he's supposed to do here. But he really doesn't want to move. So probably whoever had this played with him really, really rough and just like destroyed the gears in there, like, which is a shame. He's a fun little toy, but he just doesn't work the way he's supposed to. And every once in a while you get a good little spin out of him like there. And uh... But pretty fun overall. Even though he doesn't really work like he's supposed to. Still pretty cool. So there's Mr. Knuckles. And now let's check out, of course, the uh, fastest thing alive, Sonic. And uh, he's pretty basic, but still pretty neat. You got him in, of course, you know, high speed, fast moving, running pose there. The blue looks good. He's got his little arms uh, sticking out. The eyes look good. So not a whole lot of detail here. You can see his shoes. 
And he's supposed to be like, had these like flames coming out. It kind of looks like he's coming out of like a rocky canyon or something, but it's really just kind of like fire and flames. And so what you do here is you push this little button and then this part like shoots off and he goes zooming. So let's check him out. Let's see how he, uh, see how he works here. And gotta go fast. He does go pretty fast, so he actually works works pretty good, and uh, is a you know he's a, he's, a, he's a pretty fun little toy. I mean, considering he's just a Happy Meal toy, he works works pretty good, just about as well as you would expect. So there's Sonic, and now this one's probably my favorite. I think uh, Knuckles is still my favorite looking one, but Doctor Robotnik. Um, I think this is the most fun one out of the group. Even though, again, this also doesn't work that great. And uh, it's just, you know, they're Happy Meal toys. They're not high quality. They're not designed to last and function perfectly for 20 or 30 years. You know, they're just throwaway toys. Um, but I really love his ship. This reminds me of, like, uh, well, kind of like Sonic 1, really. But, like, you know, he had so many ships like this where he's attacking Sonic and... You know, the top part's blowing up, and he's, like, floating away. Ah, I'll get you, Sonic, and, you know, escaping and everything. And plus, the the the, uh, the face looks so much different um, than, like, his Eggman persona. This is, like, more of his Robotnik persona. And then, like, when he would get, like, the glasses, and they would round off the head a little bit more. So you can see the evolution of, you know, uh, Sonic's arch nemesis here. And now what he does is you wind him up, and he has this little metal uh, ball bearing in the front. And then what he's actually supposed to do, which is really hard to get this working right, is this little wheel will keep him from going off like the edge of something. It'll keep him like centered, and it'll like just keep spinning around in circles. But even aside from that, he'll still just kind of like move around once you wind him up. So like with a lot of old wind-up toys, uh, they don't always work so great. But anyway, let's uh, let's give old Dr. Robotnik, we'll give him a go here and see how he works. Let's get him all wound up. So he doesn't work too bad. Especially considering he's an old wind-up toy, like, I'm actually surprised that, like, a little old wind-up toy from, uh, McDonald's works as good as it does. So, there we go. There is, uh, Dr. Robotnik. And uh, that is my set of the uh, Sonic 3 uh, McDonald's Happy Meal toys. I really think they're neat. Uh, hopefully I'd like to pick up the other two if I ever see them. I know the ball and the little uh, disc flyer are a little bit harder to come across uh, and round up my collection. I'd really love to get a hold of one of the, uh, the Happy Meal bags too. That would really complete the set. But these are the ones that I got and I still think that they're uh, really fun to take a look at and they're really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this with me today, and I will see you guys back here next time. Take care. Hey guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and you can follow me at Facebook at Kinga Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.